Over 1 million nursing students trust Simple Nursing to help them pass nursing school and the NCLEX. So head over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube to join them in their success. Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, we're gonna go through joint movements. Now the first thing we need to start off with is that different types of joints in the body have different degrees of freedom when it comes to their joint motion. And there's only three axes in which a joint can move in. If a joint moves in one axis, it's called uniaxial. If it's two axes, it's called biaxial. And if it's three, it's multiaxial. And the different gross movements that a joint can perform have different names which I've written up on the board and we're gonna go through them one by one. But before we begin, you need to understand something called the anatomical position because when we refer to each of these types of joint movements, we always have the anatomical position in mind. And this is the anatomical position where we've got feet shoulder width apart, eyes facing forward, arms by the side, palms facing forward as well like this. This is the anatomical position. Keep that in mind as we go through these particular types of joint movement. Abduction. Abduction is the first one. What does it mean if somebody's been abducted? It means they've been taken away. That's all abduction means. It means take away from the body or take away from the midline of the body. So abduction of the arm. Abduction of the leg. That's abduction. You can also have abduction of the fingers. Again, anatomical position, abduction of the fingers. Then when we look at adduction, this is bringing back toward the body, back toward the midline. So you can have adduction of the arm, you can have adduction of the leg, and you can have adduction of the fingers again. When we look at the next point, flexion. Generally speaking, when we say flexion, we're referring about decreasing or minimizing the joint angle. That's what we're usually referring to when it comes to flexion. So if we use this definition, you can have flexion at the shoulder joint, flexion at the elbow joint. Struggling to stay afloat during nursing school? Let me help you achieve our 96% pass rate by heading over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube and signing up for free.